I have written to you fathers, and we could say mothers as well, because you have known him who was from the beginning. So here's this progression from childhood to adolescence to mature adulthood, where we know him who was from the beginning. And I think a lot of times we've got to be really careful to gauge what we claim because sometimes we're not at a maturity level to claim some of the things we want to walk in. And part of it is that we're not as awake as we need to be. Therefore, destiny is not what we want it to be because we have not yet identified what our identity is in that season. Because who you are today isn't who you were 10 years ago. We've grown. Look at somebody and say, I know he's talking to you right now. I So that when Paul says, awake thou that sleepest, on the surface level, we could say, okay, that means I'm awake, I wake up, I'm out of sleep, and now Christ shines on me. Well, I agree with that, but I don't think it's a one-time thing. I think we go through processes of gradual awakenings. The path of the just is as a shining light, shining more and more unto the dawning of the perfect day. So I think we go through periods of awakenings in our journey. I think we go through cycles. I think we grow in grace and in knowledge. I think we go from glory to glory. And there are cycles and patterns because to go from glory to glory, that from and that to literally in the Greek means out of and into. And for every out of, there's a transition. And for every into, there's a transition. And our challenge in the 21st century, if we're going to awaken to destiny, is we have to become masters at transition because it's the only constant anymore in a postmodern world. But you will not master transition unless you're comfortable in your own skin. <laughs> 